Chapter 27 Guilt of Exposing Children But as for us, we have been taught that to expose newly born children is the part of wicked men, and this we have been taught, lest we should do anyone an injury, and lest we should sin against God, first, because we see that almost all so exposed, not only the girls, but also the males, are brought up to prostitution. And as the ancients are said to have reared herds of oxen, or goats, or sheep, or grazing horses, so now we see you rear children only for this shameful use, and for this pollution a multitude of females and hermaphrodites, and those who commit unmentionable iniquities, are found in every nation. And you receive the hire of these, and duty and taxes from them, whom you ought to exterminate from your realm. And any one who uses such persons, besides the godless and infamous and impure intercourse, may possibly be having intercourse with his own child, or relative, or brother. And there are some who prostitute even their own children and wives, and some are openly mutilated for the purpose of sodomy, and they refer these mysteries to the mother of the gods, and along with each of those whom you esteem gods there is painted a serpent, a great symbol and mystery. Indeed, the things which you do openly and with applause, as if the divine light were overturned and extinguished, these you lay to our charge, which, in truth, does no harm to us who shrink from doing any such things, but only to those who do them and bear false witness against us.